Hi, my name's Tom, and uh, I don't use Flameshot anymore. Okay, so if you don't know, Flameshot is a screen uh, screenshotting tool, screen annotation tool uh, for, I believe it's cross-platform, but I use it on Linux. Uh, recently, I've switched over to Wayland, uh, and although Flameshot, uh, Flameshot is supposed to support, support Wayland, I found it doesn't really, uh, or it didn't really work well, that well for me, so I started looking for alternatives, and I found Ksnip, and I'm just going to show that to you right now. Okay, but one thing I should explain, I don't actually use Ksnip for the screenshotting itself. I use it strictly for the annotation. I have something else set up for screenshotting. Ksnip can do screenshotting, but for my purposes, I, I don't really need it to. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab a screenshot of uh, this screen right here. Okay, and uh, ba 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 ba. Great. So I've got that. It's now in my clipboard. I'm just going to move myself down here now so it's not confusing when you see two faces. I'm going to close that up and I'm going to open up a new window with Ksnip. And I'm going to paste in uh, the image there. Okay, so you can see. Oh, that's not flattering. Oh, well. All right. So here we are. Uh, and uh, now I'm in Ksnip. So what's the difference between this and Flameshot? So in a lot of ways, it's very, very similar. You've got things like you've got your arrows, right? You've got text. Uh, hello. Ooh, that looks cool. I like that. Uh, you can do, you know, a lot of the same things. But Ksnip can actually do a few things that Flameshot can't. And that's really what I want to talk to you about. So my biggest complaint with Flameshot was that once I laid down one of these annotations, it was just stuck there. I couldn't modify it again. But with uh, Ksnip, I'm able to do that. Okay, so I'm going to press S, uh, and that is going to uh, use the selection tool. And now I can select different uh, annotations. And then I will click on this arrow, and now I can move this thing around. So that's great. So if I accidentally, you know, put it right here, ugh, gross. Okay, I can do that instead. That is phenomenal. But what's more is I actually can modify things about it. So if I want to make it a little bit thinner, there, I can do that after the fact. Okay, so I can go over here and uh, move this text so it's like this. And, uh, you know, instead of green, let's say I want a different color, I'll change this over to blue. Okay, great. Now, with if you've used uh, Flameshot, you realize that, like, once you get that text down or once you get that arrow down, it's sort of stuck there and you you have to leave it there or undo and then reset it. Here I can modify things. Uh, so that's pretty great. Another thing that I really like is right over here. I've got uh, these uh, stickers, they call them, but these are SVGs. So I can uh, I can get this and this is great because I'll get rid of my face here and I'm going to put this sticker down. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to bump it up just like that. OK, perfect. Uh, I wish I looked like that all the time. So, uh, yeah, so. That's pretty great because often before with flame shot, I'd be trying to use emojis to try and throw uh, images in there, but the emojis would have to be the same size of the text. It didn't really work that great. But with these, now I can throw these stickers in and you can add new ones. Uh, it's just any uh, SVG that you, you can find, right? So I can uh, put this little person here. Uh, I guess I have a, something with people and faces. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, I can do that. Okay, yeah, so the keyboard shortcuts are absolutely great. So A for arrow, T for text, uh, R for rectangle. And again, after that, I can select anything I want and I can make uh, changes to it. So I say, oh, I didn't want that. I wanted that to be, you know, red. And in fact, I wanted this to have a uh, border and no fill or something like that. Okay, great. And then, oh, you know what? Actually, I wanted this to be somewhere else. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to delicately move it. I'm not great at with the mouse. Come on, Tom. There we go. All right. And I'm going to put it just like that because that looks so great. Okay, and then now once I have this whole thing done, I can just copy it and uh, now it's in my clipboard like that. So it's the same idea as Flameshot, except I can now move things around after the fact and I just find that way, way better. One, one last example, because you know, I'm not organized. Uh, this font, let's say I hated this font and I wanted to change it. I can go up here, change the font uh, after the fact. So how cool is that? And then, oh no, now it's all cut off. Don't even worry about it. I'm sure you were, but uh, I can I can go and adjust it. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you use Flameshot and you think that Flameshot, maybe I, maybe I missed features in Flameshot that are actually quite great, uh, let me know. But uh, I think that Ksnip is pretty awesome. I'll probably be sticking with it. I forgot to mention, look, look, it's got a shadow on the uh, on the arrow there. Do you see that? There's like a shadow. It's pretty cool. You can remove the shadow, but like why on earth would you?